So how does it feel now that you guys are going into season two? I mean, expectations, new storylines, character development, any like, um, yeah, please do elaborate. It's a very general question, but what are no, you it's most, a good one. Yeah. you know? Obviously we're, well, not obviously, but we're super stoked to uh, do another season. Um, we're doing a few more this time. We did 10 and now we're doing 13, which is great. Uh, you know, when you do things like this and you, first season is sort of feeling everything out you know we realize that we don't like each other at all which is good to just get that out there and yep. try to you know separate the characters and real life just <laughs> shit. Um, uh, but th in the second season of things then they tend to write for the characters which is always cool and we're just stoked we have so much fun so we're excited to get back at it yeah I think uh, just to add on top of that what's so nice is that you know we have Kevin, Steve, write the show, direct the show, produce the show, and, and also are our friends, I think. So <laughs> in that time, they've gotten to like know us better, too. So they like write in our voice, and it, I think you know they have such a clear picture of who we are and what we bring to our characters. So it's cool to like see that in the scripts. And I think like season two, I think it's going to blow season one out of the water. So. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. There's been space for in group, so something like this coming from you. Um, do we do a lot of improv? Is that what you say? Go ahead. Yes. Yes. We do yes. a lot of improv. I think, um, if anything, this season we, we have to make a real effort to get the scripted version down first, and then we let this guy off the leash. <laughs> True story. It's it's so fun. I mean, it's nerve wracking sometimes. It's funny because you get that question like, uh, do you prefer drama or or comedy? And it's it's a tough one to answer. But I think for me, anyways, I feel like drama is like uh, you sort of know what to expect. You can work on your stuff, get it correct, know you're coming in, and and you know nothing's going to be changed. I mean, it will, but it's. You can prepare, I feel like, for this stuff, you know, you get a general idea. I mean, I don't even really look at the stuff that much before we get there because it can change so much. Yeah. And you're just expected to come up with something. And if you're coming in through the door, like, great, try something else. You're like, like what? I don't have any, you know. So there's that uh, uh, added pressure, but it's a good pressure. It's super fun. And, you it keeps know, it exciting yeah, and, and, and And that we're allowed to do that, you know. There's a lot of shows and things that they would like to, and there's, you know, we're going to let you improv, we're going to do this get, once we get the scripted one, but we really do get to do that here. And then if watching season one and two is they keep tons of it, tons of the improv and the stuff that you make up. So, so now, you know, now we're expected to do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Careful totally. what you wish for. Guess, right? <laughs> mm. Sweet. Um, the first season has more of like an episodic approach to things, but are there any more like larger recurring arcs or like things that carry over for the characters this year that you can talk about? I mean, you have one. You have a little, like, uh, yeah, I couple think, of episodes. Yeah, I, I, I think um, also there's an arc between, like, the familial aspect of, like, um, uh, Steve playing my uncle and Kevin playing my father and, and my dynamic with the two of them and how I'm kind of slowly... Uh, Eddie Panisi is his name, and I'm, I'm. They say that the Panisi in me is coming out, so we'll see right, how right. that plays out. Um, I, I think like the nature of it being a half-hour comedy is they they kind of need to be standalone episodes, right? You know, you, like, to how you consume it is you can watch one and go, oh, that's funny, and I get it. It's a beginning, middle, and, and an end. So, like season arcs and stuff, maybe light ones, but there are a couple of episodes like without giving anything away, like the one with your friend. I think that spans a couple of episodes, yeah. right? But they, they're generally they're, they're generally still standalone, like, yeah, um, yeah. You can jump in anywhere. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the first season was, was, uh, was great, and I think one of the awesome things is having you guys all here together. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like you guys all have really great chemistry. <clears throat> when someone new, <laughs> when someone new joins the crew or joins uh, on set, has been easy for them to just jump in after the. Like I said, I, everybody I feel. I'd say the cool thing about Steve and Kev is that they hire their friends, and so it's like people that are already in the tribe, and that they're just like excited, like get in on the laughs with, and it's such a smooth transition. So yeah, so far it's been super easy and cool. And we do get along so well. I mean, look at these assholes. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at but, them. But we really do get along so well. So it makes it uh, a lot easier. But I think it's, you know, for it's, it's funny because this season we have a lot more guest stars coming in. And uh, it should be interesting to see uh, how it goes. Because 
not intimidating, but I mean, it is like we we talk over each other. The energy is crazy, and we're constantly so to jump in and have to insert yourself in there. It's welcoming, and it's and, it, and it's all that stuff. So you know, it took you some time to establish Donna dominance. Right <laughs> there, you go. Easy for you to say. Establish what? Dominance. <laughs> Uh, we all came in on red eyes, so... Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the blanket excuse we'll use all day, right? <laughs> yeah. Listen, we're... Uh, Listen, came in on a red eye. Not drunk, we are coming on a red eye. <laughs> um, so, we... Comic-Con is all about the, you know, the fans, the, you know, stories, the amazing medium that is released on a daily, yearly, you know, monthly basis. I know you guys just rolled in a red eye, but do you have some time later to like check out some of the boots or some of the panels yourself? Yeah, I'm so and, excited to go okay. walk around. This is my first Comic Con, so awesome. I'm just like stoked and I'm gonna go geek out. I'm like the queen of not playing at Cole, so okay. I'm gonna go really? walk around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, totally. No, we're still yeah, totally. She never plays a cool <laughs> song. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, because essentially, that's what do we do any of this for? It's for fans. It's for people that are watching it and digging it. And none of this, no movie, not the biggest fucking spectacle would be nothing without people that are into it. So it's absolutely what it's all about. 100%. Kind of that too. It's, it's really cool that you have so many real life firefighters that are fans of the show, not just in terms of thinking it's funny, but like for the authenticity of the show too. Has that been very validating? That's amazing that you yeah. say that because it really is. Because the one thing we don't goof on is the firefighting or the first responding or everything else is, but that the actual work of it and, and what it means. We're walking through uh, the security gates and the stuff here. There's like the cops and the guys. Uh, uh, we're the first ones to say, hey, I love the show, thanks so much, and whatever. To get it from those guys all the time, and guys and gals, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's very cool. And we have a newfound, a newfound for me anyways, but the, uh, just the respect for all of them and what they do, man. It's, oh, it's, yeah. It's, it's crazy. Walking I mean, it's around like, in that kit is heavy. <laughs> right, yeah. The gear, it's no joke, man. <laughs> And the like, the, the five minutes we have to wear it. It is no joke wearing that. <laughs> That's not true. It's we wear it a long and time. And it's not. I, know. I take the lining out of my shit. But. Yeah, he took the lining out of his. I keep. I'm mad. I, I would burn I, to death. I keep I would it real. <laughs> what are you guys thinking? Anything else? No. Any other burning questions? No. Uh, Okay. You don't have to. Yeah. Know, yeah. <laughs> this year, right? One phrase or sentence to describe your character in this season. Mm. Uh, you can curse. It doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with tour de force. Ooh, okay. <laughs> After that first season. Okay. It's your yeah. favorite phrase to describe any <laughs> show or actor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was so good. Gabriel Hogan is a tour de force. He is, is, is a tour de force in more ways than one. Um, to describe Lucy's, um, hmm, I'm not sure. I don't know. For some reason, this saying that someone else gave to me that's not really applicable, but um, <laughs> I've been thinking about it all day. Runaway freight train. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll let him answer for me. No, well, I guess you're her manager. Then. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's just a tour de force just to be tour de force for, to be recognized for horrible answers. <laughs> Tell them you're allergic to cheese. <laughs> it means nothing. It means you're lactose intolerant. Uh, see, it's exhausting. <laughs> Um, do you guys have favorite episodes, either like overall or just for your characters in particular? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Full Moon Fever was my favorite episode. The one where Ike thinks he's turning into a werewolf. Um, that one's great. Yeah. And Martin Starr was on it, had a guest spot on it. He's super funny. and It was cool because that was one of the first ones where we all split up too and went on different calls. You know, yeah. Which is always fun when we get to go and, and do something. The stuff at the station was fun too, but that was, for me, it was fun because it was just ridiculous pretending, you know, thinking I'm turning into a werewolf in some park in Woodland Hills at four in the morning. It just went off the rails. Run away from the train, see, I run back to the rails. Killing it. I shouldn't point that out though, I should just leave it. It makes it not cool, but. <laughs> what was your favorite episode? Same as mine? Um, 
we can move on. It's probably the same. Well, they're no longer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I liked I liked that first episode where I came in. Obviously, oh, yeah, of course, <laughs> the one where you were introduced. <laughs> yeah, because it was like my first time getting to work with you guys, yeah. and it was when you guys were still really nice to me, and I just like appreciate <laughs> that it's such. It was such an innocent time. You guys protected my feelings so much back then. Um, now it's all over. <laughs> that, that was a great episode, and it was cool to see you come in because that was episode three. Well, you know, you were in it, but the way you really came in was episode three, right? Yeah, like yeah, really yeah. Was. And that was cool because we were all in a scene in the break room. Again, loud, big personalities, talking over each other and stuff. And she basically has to come in and go, shut up, everyone, and, and you know, lay it down. And it was probably daunting and, and, and tough. But I remember when you did that, and we're all like, oh, yeah, she's, she's awesome. She's you know what I mean? One of us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a tour de force in the making. She goes, wow, run away from a train. I'll stay with her. <laughs> I'm not going to say tour de force. But. <laughs> All right. We've clearly gone weird on you guys. We're so. with it. We're with Thank it. you. Right on. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, guys.